Wow, that yard looks like a jungle. And Pete, you have to mow it. Hope you have plenty of water because it's going to be a long day. Why, thank you, Megan. You better get started before the grass grows any taller. Make sure you're overlapping your rows. You don't want to miss any piece of grass. Boy, that's a lot of hard work. Keep it up, Pete. Only two more hours and your yard will be the envy of the neighborhood. The perfect lawn is hard work and keeping it trim has taken a lot of time away from homeowners on the weekends. But that doesn't have to be the case anymore if you have a robot doing the work for you. This is an auto mower. Meet Wyatt Jans. He owns a small engine shop and started selling these automated mowers a couple years ago. Wyatt, I gotta say the auto mower is amazing, but first let me ask, how does it know to stay in the yard? Sure. So uh, we actually install a, uh, a wire, uh, similar to a dog fence, a uh, continual loop around the property that it helps sense all the boundaries. Now if that loop would break though, it, it wouldn't just wander down the, down the street. Correct. So if you do get a break in the loop, uh, the machine's going to shut down immediately. And if for some reason it does maybe uh, get over that, it's going to shut down. It's amazing how quiet it is, right? Yeah, I mean, it's super quiet. I mean, they, they test out about 50 decibels. Safety-wise, we don't need to worry about the blades on this uh, for pets or kids? Nope, uh, it's very safe. It's on about, a, about an 11-inch uh, disc, and uh, it's about a 3-inch razor blade that uh, does retract. And as soon as the unit's picked up, it does uh, turn off. Wyatt says the blades can last anywhere from two to three months, and they're easy to change. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver, and you can change them yourself. You can program it, or you send it out. How does that work? Yep, so you can program days and times if you'd like, um, and you can tell it to go out uh, you know, either day or night. It actually cuts in the rain, so you don't have to worry about any kind of weather delays. Uh, and, and programming, I'm sure not, that's not hard to do? Yeah, if you can run a, a cell phone or a laptop, I mean, you can definitely program one of these. I'm smiling because it's sneaking up behind you. So you're, I mean, it'll just come up and... And it'll bump right into me, and then it's just gonna turn back around and take its random pattern. The automower is powered by a battery. It has to return to a charging station when the battery gets low. The automower is capable of mowing up to an acre and a half. The battery can last three to five years and costs around $150 to replace. Why do what about theft? Do I need to be concerned if uh, someone come in and steal my, my auto mower? Um, they all have uh, separate pin codes that you can change. And if the pin code's not put in, it's picked up, there is an alarm that goes off. Uh, and then some of them have GPS tracking where you can actually pinpoint it if it leaves the property. How about, okay, as we look at this cost? Uh, so you're looking, uh, base is 2,000, runs up to about 3,600, okay. and the largest one will do uh, 1.5 acres. And uh, how much uh, electricity does it use on average for a year? So surprisingly, it's about uh, $50 a year. You know, a lot of pros, and but tell me a con. What, is there a con to this? Sure. I mean, the only thing I've really seen is, you know, if a yard's uh, multi-tiered or sectioned off where the automower can't get from A to B, it, it doesn't really, you know, work for that style of property. The automower is gaining in popularity since coming to the United States a few years ago. It can cut grass up to a 45 degree slope and takes about 60 minutes to charge fully before beginning the mowing process again. But what about trimming? Turns out there's something to help with that as well. Now Wyatt, I know there's going to be some trimming necessary. Talk to us a little bit about uh, the, the new technology in terms of trimming equipment. Yeah, so uh, you know what, what we're seeing right here is the uh, handheld battery series. Um, I mean, you got a hedge trimmer, a chainsaw, a leaf blower, uh, you know, and a, and a string trimmer. And the question always comes, uh, battery powered versus gas, do I have the same power with battery equipment? You're, you're definitely going to have the same power. I mean, we're seeing large tree companies actually go to the, to the chainsaws for, for safety as well as sound, but uh, you know, you get over a, over a full tank of fuel runtime as compared to the gas. And I'm amazed, again, the, the battery interchangeable among these four uh, tools right here. Yeah, I mean, you know, the battery's right here in the chainsaw and you can just pop it on out. And move it over to your next unit. Terrific. Wyatt, how about battery length? How long will a battery last? Sure. You're uh, you're seeing about 45 minutes to an hour, um, but they all do have an eco mode, so if you want to run uh, with a little less power, you can get more runtime out of them. Always amazed, again, how lightweight these are. And I know the, the hedge clippers, this is a little better than the hand clippers Megan's been using. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a nice upgrade. Well, Wyatt, it's great to see the technology. Really, thank you for sharing that. And if you'd like more comfort-saving tips, visit our website at powerhousetv.com.